My name is Jason Roski. I own the KC Auction and Appraisal Company. We're in Kansas City, Missouri, on the east side of town. I uh, love being right in part of the historic part of Kansas City right here, just a mile from the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, American Jazz Museum, and then City Hall is just a half mile the other direction. I started the KC Auction Company about 20 years ago when I was in doing antiques, but I had an antique shop, I used to do antique shows, was an eBay power seller. I was getting a lot of calls, a lot of inquiries from people looking to sell things, but not a lot of things. And I knew that auctions were a, a strong possibility for that market. I just didn't know the experience, I didn't have the experience for it at the time outside of going to auctions and decided to look into it. Went to an Missouri auction school and started doing auctions shortly after that. We do about 30 auctions a year, so about three a month. They're anything from antiques and art and jewelry to coins to single cars, kind of anything that comes out of an estate. We work with a lot of estate situations. People are downsizing, passing on, all those kinds of situations and help people turn those collections and, and lifetime memories into cash and usable assets that they can use in their next home or for their children. Some of the things we really like about the whole process of working in an auction and bringing these, these antiques and interesting items to people is, is the history that they have and, and where they come from. And bringing those objects to the, to the marketplace for the next generation of collectors to, to find is really fun and rewarding for us and our clients. People, one of the concerns that's out there for a lot of our clients is that nobody wants this stuff. You know, there's articles out there, nobody wants my parents' stuff. Nobody wants my, my kids don't want my things. And so we have found a way to market to 30 to 50 year olds who are going to use these things, whether it's the antique furniture or lamps or artwork or jewelry, as opposed to donating it to Goodwill or just throwing the trash like has happened before. And our clients really appreciate that effort and expertise that we bring to that marketplace. And of course our buyers like it because what we sell is things you can't just find in a regular store. We find things that are unique, uh, interesting, and, and really give your home a statement that your neighbors may or may not have, especially if they're shopping at a big box store where it's, everything is the same and, and, and they don't have. Our customers have a much more uh, defined sense of style and taste uh, and are willing to take the time to find those interesting things. When we talk about what we want our buyers to experience, we want them to experience just an easy process with interesting things that they can't find elsewhere. And when they come in to pick the items up or we ship them off to them, we want to hear that that's exactly what they wanted it to be. We want to make sure that we're accurately describing and photographing these objects so that they, when they get the object in their home, it's what they expect it to be. As far as our sellers, we want them to be happy with the results. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a money business because uh, we're transacting goods for money, right? And so they want to feel like it was worth their effort uh, to collect it or keep it and that they're satisfied with that. And then also satisfied with what we did as far as who we reached and how. I can find people to buy anything tomorrow at the, at the, if the price is cheap enough, right? But it's harder to find people who really want it and appreciate it, not because it's a great value, but because it's a great object. 